Sir. Roy, the, how is it to take on a not so dominant Australia, but does the tag of five time champions, you are keggy about it, or how is it that? Are uh, the cameras ready? Thanks. Um, afternoon, everyone. Um, just a reminder before we get started, we had quite a lot of mobile phone disruption in the previous press conference, so please can I ask you to ensure that your mobile phones are muted or on vibrate, and please don't take any phone calls during the course of this press conference, um, just to observe the protocols of this um, situation. And also please ensure that you have um, a microphone before you ask a question so that the um, transcribers will be able to make it out. Thank you. Are you aware of everything? I'm going to start quickly. We'll take questions from this side first, and then we'll move on to this side. Yeah. 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 Ye
It's obviously an optional training, not everyone is here. <coughs> because, I mean, it's before the game, usually we keep an optional training uh, so that, you know, the guys can do what they want to do. But yeah, leading up to uh, every game, we've been quite composed, quite calm about, you know, what we want to do. Uh, because we know uh, how it is outside the environment that we have. We know how it is and uh, uh, the expectations and the pressure and, you know, the criticism and everything, you know. So it's important that we stick to our strength, uh, our group uh, and what we uh, want to do as a team. This, this is not just now, this has been happening since game number one. Uh, that we have tried to maintain that, uh, you know, calmness around the dressing room. Uh, <clears throat> even on the field, uh, you know, when there is a situation where we have been put under pressure, we try to stay calm and just react to that pressure. No, uh, I wanted to know this because on the eve of the final, that is important. It's a, it's a different ma match altogether. And, you know, not many players have uh, played or took part in such a final. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely right. Uh, but Abhi... Inside what they feel, I can't tell you because I'm not spending 24 hours with them. So I don't know how each individual will be feeling. But when they are around the group, around our meetings, around our trainings, everybody seems to be quite relaxed uh, and calm. Like I said in the last PC as well, I was asked about dealing with pressure. I said, being an Indian cricketer, you have to deal with pressure. There is no doubt about it. So. That's, that's given and it's there. It's going to be constant. Uh, today we are playing, tomorrow someone else will play, day after someone else will play. So they have to deal with these kind of pressure, criticism and everything. Accolades as well. I'm not just saying criticism. You guys have uh, praised a lot of players as well. So, uh, so everything is included. You have to deal with it as an elite sportsman. You have to deal with all these kind of things. But yeah, looking... Uh, Rohit, uh, one minute, please. Uh, Rohit, uh, is it working? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Seamus performance, 54 wickets between 3 and 31 by spinners. Is it the best you have seen as a pl player and captain? They perform as a professional group of bowlers, glimpses of which were seen in Colombo during the Asia Cup. Yeah, I, c I can say that. I mean, the bowlers have actually done a great job for us in this tournament. Uh, you know, when we started off, uh, we were, we were chasing in the first four or five games and to restrict teams below 300 on, you know, Indian conditions was a great effort. Uh, so, it's not been easy. Uh, con con containing batsmen, restricting the opposition is not an easy job. But our seamers and the spinners did that perfectly. Uh, and then again, when we, the second half of the tournament where we had to defend scores, we've defended quite clinically as well. So, yeah, I can say that, you know, they've been very professional. Uh, they, they know what is expected out of them. Um, you know, all the three seamers that have played in the second half, uh, Shami, Siraj, Bumra, they know exactly what is expected and they try and... Yeah, yeah, phone band rakho, yaar. So, you know, they know exactly what is expected and uh, how they want to go about doing that stuff. And the same for the spinners as well. The spinners have come in uh, where, you know, we wanted to take wickets in the middle overs and they've done that. Uh, so, I, I, all I can say is they've been quite professional about, you know, doing their job and getting the job done for the team. Rohit, you said that the players के बारे में तो आप इतना नहीं बता सकते कि उनके मन में क्या सोच रहा है बट बाहर जो है स्टेडियम के बाहर नारे लग रहे हैं कि जीतेगा तो इंडिया ही आपके लिए पर्सनली इमोशनली या फिर उन खिलाड़ियों के साथ जिनके साथ आपने एक अरसा बिताया है आप कैसे देखते हैं इस दिन को क्योंकि अक्सर ही कहा जाता है कि ये वर्ल्ड कप फाइनल इससे बड़ा कुछ हो नहीं सकता आपके लिए काफी वक्त हो गया क्रिकेट खेलते हुए भी तो आप और आपके इर्द-गिर्द जो वो खिलाड़ी हैं जिनके साथ आपने वक्त बिताया Emotionally, आप लोगों के लिए कैसे हैं? नहीं, देखिए emotionally बहुत बड़ी बहुत बड़ी चीज है, बहुत बड़ा occasion है, without a doubt क्योंकि आप जो भी मेहनत और जो भी सपने देखते हो, वो इस चीज के लिए देखते हो, और आज वो दिन, आज नहीं, कल वो दिन हमारे सामने होगा, but देखिए 
प्रोफेशनल एथलीट्स का यही सबसे बड़ा चैलेंज होता है कि आप ये सब चीज़ को साइड में रखकर अपने काम पर कैसे ध्यान दे सकते हो तो आ, मेरे साथ साथ जितने भी और दस खिलाड़ी जो आ, खेलेंगे कल ग्राउंड के अंदर उनका उनका भी फोकस अपना जो उनका जो काम होगा करने के लिए टीम के लिए उस चीज़ पर ज़्यादा होगा राधा देन थिंकिंग अबाउट कि यू नो ये मेरे लाइफ का सबसे बड़ा मोमेंट है ऑफ कोर्स है देर इज़ नो डाउट वो बैक ऑफ द माइंड बिल्कुल है ही वो आप उस चीज़ से आप छुप नहीं सकते हो बट ऐसे सिचुएशन में काम रहना बहुत ज़रूरी है क्योंकि अगर आप काम हो कंपोज हो तो आपका जो रोल है टीम के लिए वो आप अच्छे तरीके से निभा सकते हो प्रेशर सिचुएशन में आप अच्छे डिसीजन ले सकते हो अगर आप बैटिंग कर रहे हो तो कौन से शॉट्स खेलने इस टाइम पर कौन से शॉट्स नहीं खेलने बॉलर्स अगर बॉल डाल रहे हैं प्रेशर में तो क्या एग्जीक्यूट करना है टीम के लिए कौन से बैट्समैन का स्ट्रेंथ कहाँ पर है कहाँ नहीं डालना चाहिए तो ये सब चीज़ एग्जीक्यूट करने के लिए आपको शांत और काम रहना बहुत ज़रूरी है तो आई थिंक लड़कों का फोकस इस चीज़ पर ज़्यादा होगा एंड देन ओकेजन तो है जैसे मैंने बताया ओकेजन बहुत बड़ा है ऐसे ओकेजन्स आपको हर बार नहीं मिलते फाइनल खेलने का मौका आपको हर हर बार नहीं मिलता है और मेरे लिए ये सबसे बड़ा इवेंट है वर्ल्ड कप 50 ओवर बचपन से हम मैं तो 50 ओवर वर्ल्ड कप देखकर बड़ा हुआ हूँ तो मेरे लिए ये सबसे बड़ा मोमेंट है बट मुझे पता है कि टीम को जो टीम को मेरी ज़रूरत जहाँ पर है उस चीज़ पर मेरे को ध्यान देना है और बाकी जो भी चीज़ है उसको थोड़ा सा थोड़ी देर के लिए मैं साइड में रखना चाहूँगा Rohit, you have been phenomenal as a batsman as well as a captain. Just wanted to know what has been the role of the coach Rahul Dravid, who has largely stay, stayed in the background, very understated. Uh, what has been his role in the leadership? No, his role has been absolutely massive uh, in terms of uh, you know getting that clarity, which I keep talking about. Uh, there's one thing for me to think about, and the other thing for coach to not agree to certain things uh, clearly. you know uh, looking at uh, you know how rahul bhai himself has played his cricket uh, you know and how i am playing these days obviously it's quite quite contrasting uh, for him to agree and give me that freedom and liberty to go and play like that One two three. One two three. So, check. Hello. One two three. Hello. Okay. So you you were saying it's quite contrast to uh, the way he has. Yeah, played. yeah. So you know, for him to give us that liberty to go and play the way we want to play, you know, that that says a lot about him. Uh, also you know the way he stood by the players uh, in difficult times where during the t20 world cup we had a you know good run up until that semi final and we lost and how he reacted to certain situations uh, in and informing the players sorry how you inform the players yeah inform the players about you know this is what we are looking at and all of that you know says a lot about him as as well and uh, obviously you know what he has done for indian cricket is massive and he also uh, you know feels that he wants to be part of this big occasion uh, and it's it's for us to do it for him thank you rohit i just want to know uh, while talking about players and uh, helping them and them knowing there's clarity of roles etc Can you talk a little bit? I know it's oft repeated, but about Shami and how did you kind of man handle him in trying to overcome the issues that he was having? Issues? Uh, um, maybe, maybe it was injury or maybe. No, no. I mean, yeah. See, like for him, it was so. It, it was tough for him to not play the initial part of the World Cup. Looking at him being one of the senior bowler for us, but. you know he was there for the team uh, he was there to help siraj he was there to help bumra in whatever ways he could uh, and that shows the quality of him uh, you know being the team man that he is uh, 
and it was very clear we had a chat with him about you know why he missed out and everything uh, and then obviously on the sidelines he was working on his bowling uh, and then i mean the results are there for everyone to see how he has come back from that uh, that, that shows you know the kind of mental space that shami was uh, before the world cup and and even now uh, it's not easy not being part of the team and then come come out and you know do the job that in the way that he has done for us uh, says a lot about him uh, you know but like you, you know when, when you're playing a team sport people do understand why x y z have to miss out uh, on certain occasions uh, because there's a lot that goes into uh, getting your player uh, getting your 11 right uh, it, that depends everything you, you know on your conditions uh, the opposition and the balance that you want to create uh, it was just that and then once the opportunity opened up for him he was uh, he was uh, he was right there uh, and that we we all can see with his performance रोहित कल हमने अश्विन को बैटिंग और बॉलिंग करते हुए देखा है और देखा गया कि अभी पिछले मैचों में स्पिनर्स ने बहुत अच्छा काम किया है तो क्या कल तीन स्पिनर्स के साथ हम उतरने का कोई प्लानिंग बना रहे नहीं देखिए अब अभी ऐसा कुछ हमने डिसाइड नहीं किया है बट पंद्रह के पंद्रह लोग में से कोई भी खेल सकता है अपॉर्चुनिटी सबके लिए है आ, हम अच्छी तरीके से विकेट को असेस करेंगे आ, आज और कल भी आकर देखेंगे मैच के जस्ट पहले और डिसाइड करेंगे हम हमारे 12 या 13 तो फिक्स है कि कौन उसमें से खेलेगा बट हमें जस्ट देखना होगा कि विकेट कल कैसे दिख रहा है और क्या है हमारी स्ट्रेंथ क्या है उनकी वीकनेस क्या हो सकती है तो ये सब चीज़ देखना पड़ता है अभी हमने ऐसा कोई डिसीजन लिया नहीं है कि हमारी 11 क्या होगी बट सारे के सारे लड़के मैं चाहता हूँ कि अवेलेबल रहे फिर देन कल डिसाइड करेंगे कि किसको खिलाना है रोहित ऑल द बेस्ट कल के लिए सबकी तरफ से थैंक यू साथ में ऑस्ट्रेलियन कैप्टन ने कहा कि उनके पास एडवांटेज ये है कि 2015 वर्ल्ड कप जीते हुए उनके पास छः से सात खिलाड़ी इस समय हैं इस टीम में क्या वाकई ये एडवांटेज है नहीं देखिए मेरे मेरे नज़र में तो ऐसा एडवांटेज नहीं हो सकता बिकॉज आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड कि कौन से एंगल से वो बोल रहे हैं क्योंकि एक्सपीरियंस प्लेयर्स है उस फाइनल का एक्सपीरियंस उन्होंने वो फाइनल खेलने का एक्सपीरियंस है उन प्लेयर्स को बट आई थिंक जब आप ऐसा टूर्नामेंट खेलते हो और अभी हम आठ साल बाद की बात कर रहे हैं यू नो आई थिंक प्लेयर्स का करंट फॉर्म करंट स्टेट ऑफ माइंड सब उस उससे ज़्यादा इम्पोर्टेंट होता है uh, हमारे टीम में भी है लड़कों ने काफ़ी फाइनल्स खेला है वर्ल्ड कप फाइनल नहीं खेला है बट काफ़ी फाइनल्स खेला हुआ है uh, दो लड़के हैं जिन्होंने 2011 में वर्ल्ड कप फाइनल खेला था अश्विन शायद नहीं खेले थे बट विराट खेले थे बट जहाँ तक बात है ऐसे फाइनल्स की आई थिंक काफ़ी लड़के हैं टीम में जिन्होंने जैसे मैंने बताया कि फाइनल्स खेले हुए प्रेशर सिचुएशन को कैसे हैंडल करना है उन्हें मालूम है तो आई डोंट थिंक ऐसा कोई एक्स्ट्रा एडवांटेज होगा आई मीन वो उनकी सोच है हमारी सोच थोड़ी अलग है हम बस जिस तरीके से हम अपना क्रिकेट अब तक खेलते आ रहे हैं हमें वैसे ही कंटिन्यू करना है और फिर देखते कहाँ क्या होता है and how do you think is wicket uh, in in present condition we were talking about 35 days ago and now is the same wicket what is the difference in that have you noticed anything or what do you think about the wicket and the weather conditions yeah i mean that wicket uh, there was no grass on it this wicket has some grass on it uh, uh, you know that wicket looked a lot more drier than this one i don't know again maybe uh, you know we we still i still haven't looked today uh, how the wicket is but from my understanding obviously it's it's slightly it's going to be on the slower side uh, but again tomorrow we have to come and assess what it is like it's not going to change too much but it's always nice to 
uh, you know, see the pitch on the day of the game and then assess what you want to do. Uh, that is something that we've uh, maintained for a long period of time and that is something that we've done before as well. So it's not something new for us to come and assess the pitch on the day of the game uh, and the players are aware of it as well. Um, but in terms of, you know, the conditions changing, yes, the temperatures have dropped a little bit. I don't know how much of a due factor there will be because, you know, against that Pakistan game, when we trained before the game, there were a lot of due, but there was no due during the game. And even, uh, you know, a few days back at Wankade, we were training, there were a lot of due on the game day. There wasn't much. So I, that's why I keep saying the toss is not going to be a factor. Uh, you've got to play well to win the game, regardless of, you know, the conditions and uh, the temperatures. Uh, you've got to play well, uh, you've got to play good cricket, uh, absorb the pressure whenever the, uh, the pressure has been put on you. Uh, so, yeah, I think that's, that's where it boils down to. You've got to just understand what is expected out of you at that point in time. Rohit, uh, uh, 20 years ago, India and Australia was the final. Hua tha. 2003 में तो कुछ यादें उस मैच की हैं कभी सोचा था कि भाई 20 साल बाद आपको मौका मिलेगा अगेंस्ट ऑस्ट्रेलिया की कितने दिन बात खेल रही है ये और उस ऑस्ट्रेलियन टीम का एक और हुआ करता था कि भाई मैच में कोई भी उतरने से पहले उनको लगता था इस टीम को हरा नहीं सकते थे अभी तक जिस तरह से ये मैंने जैसे बताया कि आपको उस दिन पे अच्छा अच्छे तरीके से ग्राउंड पे आना है और अच्छा क्रिकेट खेलना है आ, मैं ये चीज में बिलीव नहीं करता हूं कि पिछले 10 मैच में हमने क्या किया ऑफ कोर्स कॉन्फिडेंस लेना बहुत जरूरी है ऐसे मैचेस में 10 मैचेस हमने अच्छे तरीके से खेला है बट अगेन आपने अगर कल गलतियां की तो वो 10 मैचेस में आपने जितना भी अच्छा काम किया है वो पूरा वेस्ट होने का चांसेस है तो आई थिंक अपने आप को बैलेंस रखना अपने आप को काम रखना ज्यादा आगे पीछे का सोचना नहीं चाहिए प्रेजेंट का सोचो और अपना गेम खेलो जो मंत्र हमने फॉलो किया अभी तक वो यही है पिछले गेम को हम इस गेम में नहीं लेके आए या पास्ट में क्या हुआ है या फ्यूचर में क्या होने वाला है वो सब चीज के बारे में हमने ज्यादा सोचा नहीं हमने बस यही सोचा है कि नेक्स्ट ऑपोजिशन कौन है उनके सामने हमको कैसा क्रिकेट खेलना है और हमारी स्ट्रेंथ क्या है उनकी स्ट्रेंथ क्या है कैसे उनके वीकनेस को एक्सप्लोर किया जाए और कैसे हमारे स्ट्रेंथ को बढ़ावा दिया जाए ये सब चीज पे ज्यादा फोकस रहता है ये नहीं कि 20 साल पहले क्या हुआ है और आई डोंट थिंक उस ऐसे चीजों में सोचकर हम ज्यादा वो नहीं करना चाहते प्रेजेंट चीज के बारे में सोचकर और अच्छे तरीके से प्रिपेयर करना चाहते हैं Rohit Bhai, you played an ICC tournament final in 2007, the T20 World Cup, when you were the captain of MS Dhoni, you were very young. They gave a message before the match. Now you are the captain of the World Cup final. When you have a team huddle or a team meeting, what is your mantra, what is your message with the players? There will be no changes. I have told you that we have played the same way, we will like to play the same way. There is no need to give a message. 2007 में मुझे नहीं लगता है कि एमएस ने कोई अलग मैसेज दिया था जिस तरीके से हमने स्टार्ट किया था उसी तरीके से हमने फाइनल भी खेला हाँ ऑफ कोर्स आप कैप्टन से स्पीच तो होती होगी नहीं ऐसा कुछ ऐसा कुछ नहीं होता है जो हम नॉर्मल डिस्कशंस जो करते हैं गेम के दौरान गेम के पहले वो नॉर्मल डिस्कशंस ह Uh, Rohit, uh, this World Cup you have been ultra aggressive. So, what is the philosophy behind it? Is it because the, you have solid batsmen uh, to follow, or you know this is the, you have always been attacking batsmen, but particularly in this World Cup you have been ultra aggressive. Anything you can say about that approach? No, uh, look honestly, before the start of the World Cup, I do wanted to play in a certain manner. Uh, I had no idea that it is going to come off or what it is, what if it doesn't come off. I had plans for both. If it comes off, what I'm going to do in the next game. If it doesn't come off, what I'm going to do in the next game. Um, but like, see, for me, what is important is because I start the innings, you know, there is a bit of freedom there uh, for me to go and express myself. Uh, but 
you must have seen in that game against England where I had to change my game a little bit uh, once we lost a uh, few wickets uh, and then I had to change my game a little bit. I'm prepared to do that as well. Uh, that is what the experienced player needs to do. Uh, you can't just think that you have to play one way. Uh, you have to adapt and uh, adapt quickly and knowing the situations uh, that are there in front of you. So I'm prepared to do, uh, you know, whatever role I feel at that point is right for the team. So, you know, I've prepared my game, prepared my tactics around that. So I'm pretty clear in what I want to do uh, as a batsman, uh, you know. And, you know, when you play on good pitches, you sometimes you get that feeling that it's a good pitch. You can take on the bowlers, you know, sometimes if you see the ball is just, uh, you know, nipping around a little bit, you need to try and understand what are your uh, thoughts then. Uh, so I'm prepared to, you know, take all of this thought uh, into, into the game uh, and then go about it. Hey, Rohit. Uh, we started this tournament, a lot of us were here in Chennai when the tournament began. It was your press conference before taking on Australia. It was the tournament opener. And there was the question of unfinished business. And um, a lot of us remember that one line you said. It was very nonchalant. And you said, it'll be nice to win a World Cup. Um, is that an attitude that has helped in your campaign? Not the aggressive, we want to do this, we want to get that. Has that understated, quiet sort of a yeah. uh, presence helped you in your campaign so far? And uh, Coming a full circle from that point to here, what would you say? Yeah, no, exactly. Like you said, spot on because that's what I believe in. Uh, you know, just going there and, you know, keeping it nice and easy, calm. Uh, like I said, when you asked me that question, I said, yeah, it'll be nice to win the World Cup. So I, in, in the same tone, I want to say it now again, the same thing. It'll be nice to do it uh, uh, because we worked really hard for it. But again, we don't want to get too uh, excited about it or you don't want to feel too much pressure about it. You know, a nice balanced uh, atmosphere, a ni nice balanced thinking uh, at this stage will be really nice. And it's just not from me. You can, I can sense that from every other player as well in the, in the changing room that, you know, there's a laugh going around uh, in the changing room. Uh, there's a bit of tensed faces as well. I'm not going to uh, hide that, but that's that's normal. That's that that is what you know. That is what that is why this sport is so exciting because you you see all different kind of emotions. Uh, but obviously, when it's the game time, you know guys are very well aware of what needs to be done now. Uh, we we don't need to tell them specifically that okay now put your game face on. It's time to get the job done and all of that. Guys are quite experienced. Uh, not many have played the finals, but, you know, they've, like I said, playing for India is as good as playing any World Cup game because there's so much pressure, there's so much expectation. Always uh, at the airport, you're going here and there, World Cup jeetna hai, ye karna hai, run banana hai, doso banana hai, paach wicket lena hai. So that, that happens. So it is in your ears all the time. I, I've seen guys starting, started to wear headphones now so that they can keep the noise out. Uh, but it's nice, you know, we've enjoyed our journey thoroughly till now. Uh, so yeah, just one final push now. Hi Rohit. This has been an interesting journey for you yourself. Twelve years back at home, you were not a part of the team, but today you're leading this side. Talk to us about your journey and how does it feel today? Look, I mean, I don't want to go back there. It was a very emotional period. Uh, I think I'm sure everyone knows about it. It was a very hard time, but again, now I'm very happy that I'm at this stage where, you know, I'm, I'm leading the team into the final. I never thought it will happen, but, you know, things do happen if you, uh, if you wish for it uh, and if you dream big, all these things happen. Um, so, yeah, I, I'll, I'll just, I'm just very happy to be here, but I know uh, the importance of tomorrow. Uh, so, I just want to keep it nice and relaxed and calm and not get too emotional thinking about what happened in 2011 or what can happen tomorrow. I just want to create the same environment that I created for myself when we started this World Cup. Uh, we were all in great space. We are in. We are all in great space now. So I just want to maintain that. Uh, like I said, don't want to go too up. Don't want to go too low. Just nice and balanced. Rohit, एक अश्विन पहला मैच खेले थे जब हम ऑस्ट्रेलिया के खिलाफ खेले थे. तो क्या माइंड में ये भी है कि फाइनल में शायद छह बॉलर्स के साथ जाएं? या फिर तीन स्पिनर दो फास्ट बॉलर क्या कुछ ऐसा 
सोचा कि अश्विन हमने देखा कि ऑस्ट्रेलिया के खिलाफ हमेशा बहुत एक प्रबल दावेदार रहे हैं नहीं देखिए मैंने अभी बताया कि सब सब ऑप्शंस अवेलेबल है मैं अभी कुछ बोलना नहीं चाहूँगा कि आ, क्या करने वाले हम और क्या नहीं करने वाले हम बट देखिए सारे प्लेयर्स को पता है ये चीज़ हमने स्टार्ट ऑफ द टूर्नामेंट ही हमने बात किया था बात किया था कि आ, कोई भी प्लेयर कभी भी खेल सकता है तो ऐसा प्लेयर के दिमाग में नहीं है कि मेरा तो टूर्नामेंट हो गया मैं रिलैक्स करता हूँ ऐसा ऐसा कोई फीलिंग नहीं है क्योंकि सबको पता है कि कभी भी खेलने का मौका आ सकता है जैसे आपने देखा कि एक इंजरी हो गई उसके बाद दो लड़कों को मौका मिल गया तो गाइज हैव टेकन दैट जॉब वेरी गाइज हैव डन दैट जॉब परफेक्टली शमी और सूर्या सूर्या को हालांकि उनको ज़्यादा बैटिंग करने का मौका मिला नहीं बट uh, शमी ने यू नो आकर अच्छे तरीके से काम किया बहुत आसानी से वो अपना माइंड रिलैक्स कर सकते थे कि नहीं मेरा तो हो गया अभी आई थिंक मुझे नहीं खिलाएंगे बट यू नो ऑल क्रिकेटर्स आर क्वाइट प्रोफेशनल सबको पता है कि मौका कभी भी आ सकता है ये वर्ल्ड कप है ये हर साल नहीं होता है आ, तो रेडी रहना मेंटली प्रिपेयर करना मेंटली ये सब बहुत ज़रूरी है तो आई थिंक पंद्रह के पंद्रह लोग को मैं अवेलेबल रखूँगा कल के लिए और फिर देखते हैं कि कौन किस को खिलाए Um, uh, Rohit, you've spoken this year a few times about wanting to create a brand of cricket for your team uh, in other formats, but especially one-day cricket. So, just the way you guys have played uh, in the last ten matches, do you think you created that brand and set the standard just internationally going forward, regardless of what happens tomorrow? Or in your head, are you going, "Arey brand win, ठीक है, match जीतना ही है कल"? नहीं नहीं वो brand win जरूरी है क्योंकि प्लेइंग फॉर इंडिया तो रेडी रहना मेंटली प्रिपेयर करना मेंटली ये सब बहुत जरूरी है तो नॉट गेट फेस्ड बाय व्हाट व्हाट हैपेंस आउटसाइड और व्हाट पीपल टॉक और यू नो इफ इफ द स्कोर डजेंट कम फ्रॉम इंडिविजुअल्स आई डोंट 